Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Okay, so let's just say uh, we start from, let's start from uh, how much work they can solve in one day. Okay, how much work they can do in one day. So together they were doing, uh, completing the work in how many days? Six days or four days? Uh, six days. Yeah, it was six days. Okay, and alone Ajay was doing it in eight days. What's unknown? Okay, so as you can see, uh, we are trying to find what work, right? We are trying to find work. And we already know whatever we're trying to find, we keep it on the uh, right side. Right. Okay, we always keep it, yeah. We always keep it on the other side of the equal. Okay, so we are trying to find work. So I'll keep work on that side. Okay. Okay, so this much uh, you get it? You can see the whole of it? Yeah, I can see the whole board. Yeah. Okay, so the first line says, obviously, uh, work is to be done. So I said the complete work is one. Remember, 100% is one. Yeah. We, yeah. So, okay. So I said 100% work is one. So in six days, they completed 100% work. That is one. So they completed one work together in six days. I kept work on that side because work is what we're trying to find. Okay. We're trying to find one day work of both of them. So now, uh, that was their work for six days. Now to find the work for one day. So what do we do? We divide it. Remember? Yeah. We divide. We divide both the numbers. On this side, I have number six. On that side, I have number one. And what do we do? We divide both the sides with six. So if I divide six side with six, it would be? One. And one side? Uh, one by six. Okay, so they are doing one by six work in one day. Okay, similarly, how much work is Ajay doing? Okay, I'll write WD as work done, okay? Okay. Again, you would see we'll divide both the sides with 8. This time, because the number is 8, so we'll divide both the sides with 8. That time it was 6, so we divided with 6. This time it's 8, so we'll divide it by 8. Okay, so this time, this side would become 1, and that side would become? 1 by 8. Yes. 
so i'll stop here and i'll ask you do you understand everything up until now a little i only understand till the 1 by 6 oh so 1 by 6 you know this is what we're trying to find okay one day work of both of them is uh, we have calculated okay Okay. Uh, here we did the same thing that we did here. We did the same thing, but only for Ajay. Previously we were doing for both of them. This time we are just doing it for Ajay. Okay. okay, we are doing it for Ajay, so we can find for Vijay after subtracting both of them. Similar to chocolates, how many chocolate I buy? I subtract it from what we buy. We both buy. Okay. Can you, you give me another? It? Can you give me another question? Okay. Do you want to change it right now? Should I solve it complete? Yeah. Can you solve it complete? Okay. Nothing is left in this question. Uh. So this is the work they do together. This is the work Ajay is doing alone. So if I subtract both of them, then Vijay's work would come out, right? This part is simple. So, yeah. Vijay, Vijay's work then would be and you can solve it further. Okay. So, I'll give another question to you. Um, let me see what similar questions we have. Okay, let's take a different question. Let's say there are two men. Men, uh, uh, one is A, and one is. B. Okay, there is only one piece of work. Let's say there are two men, A and B. Okay. I'll put up three scenarios in the board. When A is doing it alone, B is doing it alone, and A B is A B are doing it together. Okay, I put up three scenarios. <coughs> So the question says, um, yeah. <clears throat> so the question says A is completing the work in fifteen days. There is only one work. Okay, A is completing the work in fifteen days. Fifteen days. Yes. B okay. is completing the same work in twenty days. Okay. <clears throat> so, how much time they take to complete the work together? <clears throat> okay. So, do you have any ideas from your side? Uh, seven days. Yeah. Why do you think so? 
because um, I divided 15 by 5, then it's 3, and then 20 divided by 5, which is 4. So 3 plus 4 is 7. Okay, and why did you divide by 5? Because it's the common factor. Yes, it, it is a common factor, but that is not the necessary or logical action that we can apply here, okay? As we both know that maths is very logical, so there is not much of a logical explanation to dividing 5, okay? So, uh, let's try a different route. Hmm. Let's say... <clears throat> how much work they are doing okay previously when we are trying to tackle these questions our first attempt was to find out what is one okay so let's just say i i want to find out what is uh, what is the work done by a in one day and b in one day okay so very simple trick is i'll divide them by I divide one by these numbers. Okay. I'll divide one by these numbers like this. Very simple. This much you understand? Yeah. Okay. This is their work done in one day. This is their work done in one day. This much you okay. understand? You can simply calculate it. You just uh, you just uh, put one and divide these numbers, okay? This much you get it? Yeah. Okay, so now I have a common denominator that is how uh, one day. Okay, one day in one day they're completing this much work. So, if I add it, then I would get how much work they're both doing in one day together? If I add these numbers, will I get the amount of work they do collectively in one day? Yeah, tell me. you have anything in your mind? Is it too confusing? Yeah, tell me, let me know. You good? Your video is stuck? It is stuck? Yeah, no, I can't hear you properly. Yeah, is it too confusing? Yeah, it is too confusing. Okay. We should take uh, a simple example then. We should take a simple example. Let's just go for something very Okay, let's take the example for chocolates. Okay, I'll write the same thing. I'll write A for like my name and S for your name. Okay, let's take the chocolate example. Okay, very simple. So in the chocolate example, I uh, let's say keep let's say I buy. Okay, let's say I buy 10 chocolates in 10 days. The one we said previously, okay? 10 chocolates in 10 days. Okay, and how much chocolates you buy? Uh, let's say you buy... Uh, 
why is it okay, let's take a break okay uh let me look for a simpler question this won't do like this or it would get more and more complicated okay let's take another take on the question okay uh, let's take another take on the question so i'll cut the question uh, down from the middle let's say i buy one chocolate in a day and you buy two chocolates in a day okay simple i buy one chocolate in a day you buy two chocolates in a day so i'm asking collectively we both how many chocolates will buy in five days You will buy five chocolates. I will buy ten chocolates. Collectively, how much it is? If we add them together, yeah, fifteen. Fifteen, right? This was simple. This much you know. Is there any question in this part? Very simple. Uh, yeah. this much chocolate you buy in one day. This much chocolate I buy in one day. Okay. so collectively uh, you calculated that uh, both of us will buy three chocolates in one day right so if if you wanted to say that how much chocolate will buy in five days that means 15 yeah right that means 15 so uh, the question says is that if we have the quantity of work done in one day okay we have the quantity of uh, material bought in one day we can eventually calculate anything like add it subtract it or multiply it we can do anything if we have one okay if we have one so if i say i am doing uh, a work in 6 uh, days you are doing it in 8 days okay if if we just know uh, how much work we are doing in one day we can add it and calculate our total this much is clear is it still confusing sure yeah are you sure uh, uh, like no confusion this time yeah i didn't get you your your voice was breaking okay yeah, your side was also breaking actually in my area the weather is very you know not so good these days thunderstorms and all okay so let's uh, try it again okay with 6 and 8 so uh, what do we do to find out the work done in one day we divide one by like this work done in one day simple you don't have to do anything work done by a in one day 1 by 6 work done by b in one day 1 by eight. okay so collectively how much work they'll do in one day in one day how much work they'll do is it simple this time yeah in one day they will do yeah you can do it in your notebook i think you'll have to take lcm and all but so do i have like will i have to make 6 and 8 the same number like the same denominators yes yes they are unlike fractions you have to actually add them wait so should i add the denominators is it Yeah. Should I add the denominators? No, no, you cannot add the denominators. Oh, okay. So, do you uh, know how to 
add unlike fractions? I simplify them first and then I add. Devansh! Hey! I simplify them first and then add them. But can I simplify them with a different number? Then, then the answer would change, okay? So I think we should pick fractions first for this topic. Should I tell you how to add unlike fractions? Uh, if you, yeah. First, I think that would do, okay? Okay, that's a bummer. We went through all the confusion just to end up in a different topic. Okay, no issues. So what happens? You know how to take LCM, right? The first step to these kind of questions is we take LCM of both the denominators, 6 and 8, right? We'll have to take an LCM. So can you tell me what would be the result of the LCM of 8 and 6? Who? Yeah? The common factor would be 2. Yeah, that's HCF, not LCM. and four again that that's hcf it's a factor lcm is what multiple oh least common oh the least common multiple then then it's 24 It's 24, okay? So what do we do in these questions? We'll put up a huge bar and the common denominator this time would be the result of LCM, that is 24. 24 and then... Uh, yeah, tell me. Put plus 3. You would? I would put... As the numerator, 4 plus 3. Yes, we would put 4 plus 3. Yeah, 4 plus 3. So you know this thing already? Yeah. Okay, very well. Okay, we'll go back to the topic and I'll finish it. So we added both the numbers at 7 over 24? Yeah. Okay. So after adding both the numbers, now we know how much work they are doing together in one day. How much work they are doing together in one day. So now I would like to ask... So now from here, we can do anywhere. We can go anywhere, okay? If we want, we can find out the work done in five days. If we want, we can find the work done in 10 days, okay? Whatever number we want. But our first instinct is to find the work done in one day by both of them and then collectively by both of them, okay? That is the element we need everywhere. Do you want to try a question by yourself so you would know? Yeah. Okay. Wait, so, for the, so is the answer for this seven? No, the answer is not seven over 24. This is the work done in one day. Now it depends on the question what the question is asking. If the question is asking five days. Oh, so it's seven hours? Like per day? 
No, not exactly. This is the work done by them in um, a single day. Okay. Yeah, seven hours per day. Okay. Okay. So uh, this up, up to this is clear. Do you want to try one question by yourself? Yeah. Okay, so I'll give you a question. Okay, I'll give you a similar question. So, Okay, so A completes a piece of work. A completes a piece of work in six days. In six days. And B completes a piece of work in four days. A completes it in six days. Yes, and B completes in four days. Four days, okay. Yeah, so uh, I will not continue the question, but I'll ask you. Uh, how much work will they do in one day? Just like we calculated here, how much work they'll do in one day? Together. Together. Yeah, together how much work they'll do in one day? Ten days, ten days, or like I got five, five by twelve. Yeah, I didn't get it. I got five by twelve. You got five by twelve. Twelve. Okay, that that is completely correct. Okay, to find out, to find out. How, how many days they'll take to complete the work to find out how many days they will take to complete the work just like we did here i'll just flip this i'll just flip this okay. so they are doing one day in one day they are doing seven over 24 work so how many days they'll take to complete the work? Three. Now it's an yeah, now it's an improper fraction. I can convert it into mixed fraction. So for your question, Snigda, you found out how much work is being done in one day. So oh, when will the work complete? Um, but in mixed fraction, right? So, two and two by five. Yeah, very correct. So, do you under kind of understand the concept now? Yeah, I agree. It's a bit confusing. I was also confused when I was your age, but you know, you eventually get around it. So let's see if we have uh, another similar question for us to tackle. Okay, so one more similar question that you'll find. One more similar question that you'll find instead of both of them, instead of getting both of their work individually. Okay, we have, we, uh, in this question, we had both of their work done individually, right? Uh, some questions, they won't do it. What they'll give you? They'll give you one work being done by them together. 
this is being done by them together and any one of them doing it alone okay it can be a it can be b any one of them doing it alone and then both of them doing it together so only thing the only thing in the whole process only thing in the whole process what are the steps to the process we first uh, divide the days by one okay and then we add it whatever the answer is we flip it okay that's how we get the ultimate answer but if the question has ab and one individual okay nothing you need to change nothing you need to change keep in mind ab should be on the left side ab should be on the left side nothing Sorry. would change if it is given individually both of them are giving individually both sides are given individually we'll add if one one is given together one is given individual we will subtract do you get it ha huh? do you get it the process is same do you get it yeah the whole process is same divided by one uh add or subtract it and then flip it the whole process is same whole process is same just the operation will change in case of together in individual it's negative minus in case of both of them it's individual then plus okay get it should i yeah. give you a question to get that yeah okay so let's see the question says a is do uh, a b a b together are doing a work in 15 days in 15 days yes yeah. and b alone completes the work in 20 B alone completes the work in twenty days. Work in how many days? Twenty days. B alone completes the work in twenty days. Okay. So the same question. Tell me how much work A does. Uh, how how much days A will take to complete the work? Okay. so i should find the common um number they both multiply in right or like yeah lcm the common yeah yeah okay
60 by 0. Are you sure it's 60 by 0? Hello? Are you sure it's 60 by 0? Uh, I think so first um I wanted to subtract 1 by 20 minus 1 by 15. Yes. Which is 30 okay. by... Uh, AP side should always be on left. I asked you, uh, I told you earlier, AP side should always be on the left. Oh. Forgot. Oh, it's okay. The answer is 60. Yes, the answer is 60, 60. days. Yes. Do you want to do another question? Sure. Similar to this. Here. A B completes the work in eight days and B completes it individually in 12 days. So, uh, find out uh, what's the, how many days it takes for A to complete it individually. Okay. The answer is 24. Okay. Okay, the complete answer is 24. Huh? The answer is, yeah, the answer is 24. Yes, the answer is 24. Okay. So, you can see, uh, I think half an hour ago, you were very confused. And now you completed the question in within a minute. So you get you get the whole concept, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, we will do variations of this question. Like this was a man and work time. Like we will do variations, different variations. I think in next class we don't have enough time to start it right now. So for this class, I think this is it. Uh, let me know. Do you have any questions? I'll send you a worksheet right away. Okay, and I don't have any questions. Okay, I'll send you a worksheet with similar questions. And please do complete the inverse variation worksheet also whenever you get time. Okay, but can you make it short, like two or three pages? Yeah, I'll uh, give you uh, less questions this time. Okay, thank okay. you. So what, what number do you prefer? Like I give you up to 10 questions? 15, around 15. Okay, I'll give you around. Okay, then that's it. Yeah.
around 15 questions. Oh, I'll do that. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye.